What up guys, welcome back. So we finally have the point system for Dibridge. So let's go ahead and explain everything, how you guys can qualify for the odd job, how expensive it is going to be to receive a good allocation and also have a good ranking. So I have been using this for the past maybe a year. I don't know, maybe 10 months, something like that since last year. And I have, and I have been talking about it. I have been vocal about using the bridge one because it is a great bridge, actually super, super fast. It takes like three to five seconds for you to receive your funds. And also I knew that they were going to add a point system because back then um, I actually saw that they had points coming soon. So right here, I have 50,000 points. My ranking is 414, which is pretty amazing. And one of the main reason is that I have a multiplier. You guys can see that I have this multiplier right here, which is two X's on past activity. So that means if I have 50,000 points, most likely I had something like 25,000 points and I receive a two X. If you use or if you started using the bridge back in 2022, which I don't know who the heck was using the bridge, you should have a 3x on past activity and then a 1.5x starting from two days ago as a boost. Myself, I have a 1.3x and the last one is if you started just a few days ago, you should have a 1.1x on future activities and then on past activity. 1.5 x's if you're starting today obviously you're not going to be receiving any type of boost they have a tweet right here explaining all the tiers all the information so you can you can just go to their twitter account which is the bridge finance and check everything else and basically the point system it will last until tge so this is the first season and they also mentioned it will go for the uh, for the next few months. So what I'm guessing is most likely for the next 90 days. Um, so maybe Q3 is when we're going to be receiving the R drop. I would say maybe summertime. So anywhere between June up to August is when I'm expecting this R drop. So let's go ahead and explain how much you guys are going to be spending to get some points. So currently for every dollar that you spent on fees, you're going to be receiving 100 points. So I actually tried that. I went ahead and created a new wallet, not a new wallet, but I have never used the bridge on this wallet. I took a very, very small transaction, just $10, and I received 350 points. The good thing is actually it is quite easy to have a good ranking with just a few transactions, because if we go back here, you guys can see there is currently 257,000 users. It sounds pretty amazing or pretty crazy, but if we go back here, you guys can see with just one transaction, my ranking is already at 194,000. So that means I remove around 60,000 ranking just by spending $3.5. Now they're not taking into consideration your volume, so it doesn't really matter if you're bridging a thousand dollars or a million dollars doesn't really matter the only thing that matters is the volume uh, i mean the fees that you're spending on the platform so again for every dollar that you spend you're going to be receiving a hundred points so that means from now on if you want to get the same ranking that i have which is fifty let let's say that you're just starting today and you have no boost, so 50,000 divided into 100, you should be spending around 500 bucks. Now, do you need a ranking like mine? Nah, I don't think so. If you have $500 that you really wanna spend on the bridge and you do like the project, for sure, do your own research and go ahead and spend it. But the best way to do it is allocate a specific amount of funds that you're okay with burning on the bridge. So let's say that you have maybe 50 bucks, that you want to spend a hundred dollars that you're okay with spending for the next few months then a hundred dollars that should be ten thousand points and i'm pretty sure you should have a good ranking and most likely you're going to be receiving way more than what you're spending on fees usually from what i have found is removing obviously blockchains we usually receive way more than that but on fees spent on on dApps on platforms usually between 10 x's up to 20 x's so let's say if you spend maybe $100, you might receive something like $1,000 up to maybe $2,000. Obviously, we have some outliers. You might receive way more than that. You might receive way, le way less than that. So for example, Romho, I think I spent something like 14 bucks, and I receive around $3,000, give or take. 
Obviously, the price right now is crashing, but more or less that. That one is obviously an outlier. We also have EVO, which I think I spent around $250 and I received 3.5K, 3.6K, something like that. So yes, we do have some outliers. So that's why I just farm anything that I like, because in the end, we're just using the Pareto principle. 80%. It is going to be trash or we are not going to be receiving a crazy allocation, but 20% of them are actually going to be pretty good. And then we're going to be receiving a pretty good allocation. So yeah, for the next few months, I'm still going to be using it. I'm still going to be farming it. Not too crazy because I already have a good ranking. So something like um, within the top thousand for me is okay. Usually whenever I need to bridge to Solana, this is what I'm using again super fast. Like it makes no sense. If you bridge from Arbitrum to Optimism, by the time that you switch from Arbitrum to Optimism, just to check your, your funds, it is already there. It takes like three to five seconds. So super, super fast. So yeah, there you go. Um, I think I covered everything. I'm going to be adding the link in the description. Obviously, it is a referral link. You don't have to use it, but if you do, thank you and thank you for the support. But again, that is more or less the 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 amount that you're going to be spending. So make sure that before you start using it, you do calculate how much you are OK with spending. So again, one hundred dollars, most likely you're going to be receiving around ten thousand points. If you can burn more than that, one hundred and fifty, then most likely you're going to be receiving around 15K. Now, if you just have ten dollars to spend, Please don't use it. Go ahead and use something else that you are already using so you can receive a higher allocation, a better allocation. So there you go. Let me know if you have any questions, any doubts. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.